almost at the base. I hope our fugitive hasn't bailed. Mr. Nobody said he'd be there. Yeah. Speaking of Mr. Nobody, I keep thinking about this story of his. I wouldn't have left my boy at home if this threat wasn't serious. No. I mean the part about the single strike that could cripple America for the next 30 years. It sounds like a dirty nuke, or a dozen of them. You better believe I'm not having baby Brian grow up in a world like that. Tej knew what he was getting into when he agreed to babysit. Knowing Tej, right now he's wishing he'd trade places with you. Hang on. I'm hearing police reports about a convoy busting out a military base and headed up the coast. That's him. We just landed, and already our fugitive is on the run. Somebody tipped him off. Yep, just like Mr. Nobody said. Eyes and ears everywhere. Yeah, and if he slips away now, we won't be able to track him. Looks like our guy has some friends running interference. Let's open up the nitrous and take them out. More incoming. Looks like this clown's got stupid backup. There's no way around him. Then we go through them. Slam them off the road. No way. Look at that thing. That can't be street legal. Wow, this fugitive didn't come to play. Watch out. These escorts are packing. Let's take them out. <laughs> we ain't gonna knock that monster off the road. What the hell? We need to take out that flamethrower. Yeah, well, you try it driving blind. I can't see a thing here. Look for the three fuel tanks on the back. I see them. Use the harpoon to pull those tanks off. I'm on it. Yeah. It's gotta be a billion degrees in here. Hang on. Nice. Two more to go. I can't see anything. You just got one more tank. How much more of this we could take. Nice work, Letty. I'm pretty sure my steering wheel's melted. That's the guy. Great. He's got armor piercing rounds. I'll draw his fire. I give anything for a gun right now, or even a flamethrower. I've got something better. think this guy has the entire city of Athens on payroll.
not so fast. I will kill you both. You've been trying to kill us all morning. How'd that work out for you? Tell us about the attack. <laughs> Laugh it up. We're your last chance to come clean before you spend the rest of your life in Supermax. The Tarakul will protect me. Do you understand what he's talking about? My father used to tell me about him. I'm listening. They're called the Tadakul. They're legends. <laughs> They're the original highway robbers, but they preyed along ancient trade roads. And this guy is one of them? You will all be dust long before the sun sets on the Tadakul. Yeah, yeah. You and your children will beg for mercy as you perish in the cleansing flames of... Ah! Thanks, babe. It was my turn anyway. This guy was headed for Barcelona. Let me know what you find when you get there. Where will you be? I need to go check on our boy. Hey, Letty. Stay safe out there. You know me. Yeah, I do. That's why I told you to stay safe. They want to play with fire? Then let's turn up the heat. Look at what? Damn, please. You can't tell me it isn't gorgeous here. Ugh. Ugh. It ain't Miami. <laughs> Come on! I'm just saying, it ain't home. Yet. Okay, we've got time for one more job before we finish for the day. What you got? Looks like there's a breakdown not too far away. The main recovery firms haven't caught it yet. Avenue del Tibidabo. What's the make? Not sure. Just says compact. Okay, we can get there first. It's not too far away. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I have a repair shop. I'll fix it for free. Starving. Where are we eating tonight? At home. We can't keep going to restaurants. <sighs> Come on. Money's tight. You know that. We're not penniless. And we're on our way to a job right now. So maybe we could go to that dim sum place I know you like. <sighs> way too expensive. I'll cook. Or maybe you want to step into the kitchen for once. Might do a better job than you. Oh, really? Well, you're still alive, aren't you? Barely. <laughs> okay, we'll eat out. But at that Catalan place we went for my birthday. With the seared tuna? Yes. God, that was... Damn it. Sorry, Cam. You know we don't work on hybrids. Maybe you don't. And we're back to this again? Do you realize how much work we're losing because you refuse to live in the 21st century? This isn't work. You're talking about replacing batteries and a child's toy. 
toy, huh? Do you remember when they did the recall after all those cars in New York went crazy? You know how much money we could have made off that? In other words, profit from a terrorist plot? People still need their cars fixed, V. Let me at least take a look. Cam. It's a powertrain problem. Let's tow it to our place. I'll take a look at it on my own time. We're not equipped to fix these things. Let me pop the hood and show you the beauty of these things. OK. Hitch it up. Yeah? And let's take it over to Sebastian's. He'll give this guy a fair deal. But we better hurry. He closes early on Tuesdays. Hey, we brought you a present. Like we had a choice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, what's going on? Sorry, Michika. I have a lot on my mind. Thoughts of me? I wish. What is it? Not here. You know how this town loves to gossip. OK, then. How about we go back to my place for dinner? Cam and I were going to find some place in the city, but I can throw something together. Aye. <laughs> OK, OK. That sounds good. Let's go. Don't you want to look at the car? Uh, my guys can take care of it. Grab Cam and let's go. Cam's good. I want to stay here and lend a hand. You sure? We good? Yep. I'll grab a ride in a bit with one of the guys. Right here. I think we're being followed. What are you talking about? Here, right again. We can lose it in the side streets. Why would we be being followed? What's going on? Turn, up ahead. Where? Left, here. But we live over to There's the right. There's a black SUV behind us. It's been circling the garage all day. I don't want it following us back to your place. It's just a black SUV. What is going on? You're making no sense right now. I promise I'll explain everything. But please, for now, just keep driving. Straight over? Yes, it is still behind us. Watch out, there's more of them. Head to the tunnel. We can maybe lose them in the hills. What are they gonna do, rob us? There's nothing in the back. It's me they're after, I think. And why would you say that? Stop stalling, Seb. I can see two cars. No, no, three. Three still. After the tunnel, take the right. It's a shortcut. Up Plana Pedrosa? You sure it's a shortcut? You've never pointed it out before? I've lived here my entire life. You've lived here only a few seconds. Hey. Don't be so touchy. You're the one acting crazy. Go right here. Uh, up Carretera del Sansón. No one ever goes up there. It's an eyesore, that's why. Yes, well, I'm not arguing with that. I think we're clear. It's carrying on down the road. Ah, thank you, my love. <laughs> those must be those famous driving skills you told me about, eh? <laughs> if I ever need a getaway driver, I've got the job. You'd better have a good explanation for all this.
Is that... is that a Camaro? Yeah, 69. Wow. Where did you find it? Cam and I fished it out of a lake back in Florida. Couldn't bear to leave it behind. So are you finished stalling? Can you please tell me what the hell is going on? Uh, I need to come up with a lot of money in three days. What? Uh, have you ever heard of the Tadakul? Should I have? They've been around Barcelona a long time. They're sort of like um, a group that helps each other with, with special favors and business deals. In America, we call that organized crime. Oh, shit. You owe the local mob money? Look, when we met, I was completely honest with you about some of my business dealings, some of which might be considered uh, extra legal. You said you were a provider of information. Look, I point things out to people, and if they're useful, I, I get paid. So, I provided the Tadakul with some information. And that info, through no fault of my own, turned out to be slightly out of date. And now, they want me to pay them for the expenses lost. Exactly how much in expenses? Uh, how much? A hundred thousand. That is insane! Well, the Tadakul disagrees. Damn it, Sebastian! How could you let yourself get involved with people like that? Hey, you're not from around here. They're hard to avoid. They have their fingers in everything. Don't you have any savings? A secret stash of unmarked bills somewhere? Ay, come on, V. You know my garage is barely hanging on. That's why you took pity on me, sending me that car. Hey, do you think I'm a criminal? Whoa. Who's a criminal? Well, you may as well tell them. Tell me what? We need a way of making a lot of money in a hurry. So it is true. You owe the Moroccan mob money. The guys at the garage like to talk. Hey, don't worry. I have a solution, but you're not gonna like it. There's a big street race tomorrow night. We are not getting involved with Mauricio. First prize is always some heavily modified ride. If you win, then boom, you've got the money to repay the gangsters. Well, a, a decent part of it. No way. There has to be some other way. Sebastian can handle it. When you're drowning and someone offers you a life preserver, you don't say, there has to be some other way. You can't reason with them? Oh, these are not people that listen to reason. I hate to say it, but they're right. I either race or I turn myself into the police. Which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Well, if you're gonna stand any chance of winning in that import of yours, it's gonna need a tune-up. So how far are you taking these? Like I said, you'd be better off with me doing the work right here. I can handle it. Well, just remember, these things are extremely volatile. Hmm. Well, we'll be extremely careful then. Okay, let's get this race fuel back to the house. We've got all day to work on the car before the race tonight. When was the last time you ran it? Uh, that track day we did at Catalonia? Ah, uh, okay, so new tires then, new fluids, and I've got some pads you can take. Thanks, V. I, I know you thought I was crazy there for a minute, and I'm so sorry about this. I know how you feel about street racing. But Cam is right, this could solve my problem. Even if you do not agree with it. Come on, get out of the way! Oh, watch out for this guy. He's not looking where he's going. Are you and Cam okay? We're just different. That's all. Cam's always looking to the future, always finding an angle, hoping for something better. I'm always wishing I could turn back time. And I know that makes me seem hesitant sometimes, but... I need you to know that you're just looking out for me. That's all. I just want you to be safe.
Great, just what we need. An accident. Looks like there was a police chase. I heard they've been trying to crack down on the street racing scene. We have to be careful tonight. That's the last thing we need. Cam will keep an ear out on the scanners, though. And they'll give us a heads up if the cops are calling for the race. Wow. It looks like someone messed up. So, yeah. If you're gonna do this, I want you to have the best shot possible. Because I love you. I love you, too. Okay. I'm trying not to kill us in a place of glory now. If I didn't know any better, I'd almost say these guys were out to deliberately kill us. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the Tadakur. Oh, no. I shouldn't have played into that paranoia of yours. We're almost home, thank God, though. See, I was right. Mauricio's put up his BMW E30 as first prize, the vampire car. With all those mods, that's gotta be worth 50, maybe 60 grand? That puts a serious dent in Sebastian's tab. Mauricio was also asking about you. He was all like, how come your friend never comes around anymore? I miss her. Tell her I want to see her. Whatever. He likes himself too much to like anybody else. I knew you'd come around someday. In your dreams, I'm here to support a friend. I think you miss the life. I think you miss Miami. Heard you used to roll with Suki and her crew. You heard wrong. There's my friend. See you around, Mauricio. Just answer me one thing. I really have to go. If you truly given up on the streets, how come you brought that sweet ride of yours? I'm willing to go double or nothing. Two cars, twice the price. But only if I see you on the starting line. Holy crap. You could win this and you know it. And double means Sebastian's debt would be completely wiped out. Did you forget everything we went through back in Miami? No, I didn't. I just thought you might want to repay one life by saving another. What's going on? Why do I feel like I just missed something important? Vienna's going to race too. No, 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 no. You told me after what happened back home you would never race again. I changed my mind. When we first met, you didn't even tell me you used to race. I thought you were just a, a cool chick who was into cars. So what, I'm not cool anymore? Oh, I, I, I cannot let you do this. Mauricio's put a double or nothing offer on the table. It could wipe out your debt completely. I'm not worth you going back on your vow. Why don't you let me decide what you're worth? It's a relay race, so we're partners in this. We'll do this together. It's me. Something's come up with one of our drivers. Tell your boss this could be a very good thing for him. Okay, we've got this, V. The first turn is a tight left, so take the inside. And then the quicker you can do the hairpin, the faster you can tag me in. Tight left, left again, hairpin around the Columbus statue. Sharp left and tag. You just keep that engine revving. Drivers, are you ready? This is a relay race. One lap around the course. Then, tag your partner in. The winner is the one that crosses the line on the fourth lap. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> That's 
see what you've got! Ugh! I gotta throw it in more! Oh, yeah, I got this. Let's see how that American whale deals with this hairpin. Watch and learn. I may not be as light as you, but me and the E-brake go back a long way, Mauricio. Get quick on those shifts now. This is the time to make a gap. Pedal's practically through the floor already, Seb. Ah, this looks tight. Hard on the E-brake, and I should slingshot around. Keep it on the red line, Seb. I'm coming in hot. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I can drift these corners all day long, Mauricio. Without power, your tuner car is just skidding, my friend. That's why I am the king. I don't just have power under the hood, I have power in the streets. Perfect time to pop that drift, Seb. Now who's the backseat driver, eh? <laughs> Keep talking, Mauricio. Your car is going home with me. Tendrás suerte si algún día vuelves a casa, tío. Go, go! Great job, Seb. We've got this. Nice and easy. I've got you now, you slimy bastard. Hey, V, there's some police radio chatter. Better make it quick. I don't have infinite gears here, Cam. Your reputation is every bit deserved, Miss Cole. But this isn't over yet. Your boyfriend isn't up to your same high standard. He's still better than you, Mauricio. Oh, I said I'd never do this again. Here we go. Just clip the apex on the right-hand side after the turn, and we've got this. This is it. You're up. Go, go, go! Come on, come on, let's go! game and I make the rules what are you talking about we've raced completely fair first rule is the house always you seem to be out here racing mr. Miro should you not be at home gathering our money? Whoa, whoa. You can't collect from a dead man. You'd be surprised what we can collect from the dead, my friend. Oh, this can't be happening. Oh, can't you see that I am doing this to pay you back? By winning Mauricio's car? Interesting idea. But Mauricio is one of us. His car, his house, his everything belongs to us. You are trying to win something that is already ours. That's between you and Mauricio. We were about to win this race fair and square. No, V, stay out of this. I'm sorry. <gasps> I do not recall giving you permission to speak. You now have 48 hours to reimburse us, Mr. Miru. Or... Would you like me to pursue your debt with her? Enjoy the rest of your evening. Are you okay? Come on, we've got to scramble. I'm fine. Cam's right, we gotta go. Ambulance! 
We need to get off the main road. Where are we going? We'll go back to the house and figure it out from there. I should have never involved you. I would have been pissed if you hadn't. Enough with the sob story. We've got to lose these cops. We'll make a left up ahead. We can lose them down the side streets. Damn it! Suspects back on Avenue del Paranel, heading westbound. All patrols moving to third floor. Any crew units switch over now, please. We can lose them in here. Hold on. Are you okay? Yeah. My ribs are aching. That's all. And wallets are in progress. Stand by for additional details. You know this area as well as I do now. Lose those cops. Why am I getting deja vu? That's twice now we're being followed on the same damn road. Just punch it. Moving to assist. Suspects now heading northwest for the Plaza de España. Do you think they saw us? Shh. Oh, three pursuit units. Ten five suspects have been lost. Come in standard search of pursuit perimeter. Set down the code two and resume pursuit of other suspects heading eastbound on path three. Okay. It was too close for comfort. Let's go. Both done enough. I'm going to split. Those goons will be looking for you at your garage. No, no, I mean split the country. It's the only way to keep you both safe. You mean keep you safe? Don't you think they've already asked Maurizio who we are and where we live, and now the cops are after us too? Oh, shit. If you go, we have to go. But I'd rather not go on the run again. <sighs> There's got to be another way. We'll sell all our cars, everything, and settle the debt. No, no, you can't. I'm going to turn myself in. Maybe the Tadakul will let me work off the debt. And then you become a criminal for real. Better than dead. I think I know someone who can help. You have contacts in the criminal underworld since when? Since before. And she's not a criminal. 